All about Symbian and Mobile Industry Review. Two things. I see Symbian going, and when I show down, it does not mean that functionality or so go down, but it will allow us to make computer type of products for the great masses in this world in the developing market. So the first computers they will have, they actually will be an extension of the phone based on Symbian. So we are driving Symbian cost-wise to India, China, Africa, Russia, Turkey, you know, everywhere. That's our game plan for Symbian. And then with Migo, we are creating devices that go beyond the personal computer and actually create what I call the possibility for people to live in the media, where our real world is going to be as uh, real as the virtual and vice versa. So we are here in this room, but we also will be residing in here. So I'll say, okay, Rafa is just in front of me. This was all the communication I've always had with Rafa, and I can zoom in, pan out, and see other people going uh, here and there. And actually, the user interface, the generic user interface for all of this is going to be a map. You will see, you will see on the display always yourself in the middle. And then you see yourself in geographical context, but because we are marrying, we are marrying uh, coordinates and IP addresses, you see what's real in that map as coordinates, but everything that's related to the coordinates, for example, uh, you know, a hotel next there, you will see the hotel, it's there, but you also see all the stuff that is connected to the hotel in the web, and it's there. And then you can zoom out to expand your geographical coverage, and you can pan to move to a different country and then zoom in again to some person or situation or whatever it happens to be. That's what I see, you know, uh, moving to the future. And this will be created on Migo. We ship 500 million boxes a year and I'm doing everything in my powers to ensure that that continues and what's inside is going to be higher value to the consumers than the previous box they got. And that's the only insurance I have. We have a history in Nokia for open standards first. You know, like GSM is something that enabled basically the company to become what it is. We believe in that deeply in, in our DNA. And this is what we are kind of contributing in this business. And in that way, we make a very vivid, very competitive environment. But we are used to kind of the game where you kind of play it, let the best man win. So we, we are not going to be the only player. But we are going to be a big player in that, uh, in that ecosystem. Uh, ecosystem. And uh, we believe it's going to be so big ecosystem that being big in that is enough for us. So in that sense, who do you see as the sort of your biggest competition? And will there be links within the sort of this rich contextual web between them through open standards? Mm. So I, I classify competition in three different buckets. We have infrastructural level of competition. And there is only one guy who we are competing there with, that's Google. That's infrastructural. That's kind of about the basic principles of business. Then you have uh, companies that are kind of approaching the same market, but more in the vertical manner. Would be Apple, RIM, perhaps in some sense Microsoft. And people working with them. And then we have the third bucket of competitors, which are you know, people that we used to compete heaviest with, which are handset makers, branded handset, uh, handset makers. And uh, in our transformation from being a mobile phone company into becoming a platform and solutions company, we kind of have to take on all these fronts. And that's what we are determined to do. Be looking at. What you should be looking at is, of course, still how many devices we ship, because we monetize most of our know-how still based on how many devices we ship. Second thing is, we report this, how many active users for Nokia solutions we have. That's a very important uh, KPI. And third, I think, is, you know, how much are other people making money on the ecosystem that Nokia has created? And, you know, there are methods how this will be calculated. And those are the three most important measures. 
Stay tuned for more at All About Symbian and Mobile Industry Review.